Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching from across the globe. My name is Gladwell Pendo and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are a frequent, welcome back. Give this video a thumbs up, comment and share. Thank you so much. Today we're going to make this beautiful bikini bottom. It's a simple project for beginners remember last time we made a bikini top if you haven't watched that video kindly go back and watch i have my yarn from a brand called winter king these are just but yarn remains from a previous project and it's in mustard yellow color and medium sized i also have my 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissor to begin Grab a yarn and make a knot. Insert your crochet hook on the loop and make a chain of 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One thing you should know is that we need to mark our middle stitch. Uh, in this case, we made a chain of 45. Therefore, our middle stitch will be the 23rd stitch. So place a stitch marker there. And keep chaining from 24 until you get to 45. Okay, this is a chain of 45. We are going to make an extra chain right there. And we're going to make half double crochets across to where the stitch marker is. Okay, let's do our half double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all. Yarn over, insert your hook, the next chain. Yarn over, pull through all. Once more, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through all. Let's do one last time, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through all. So, we've reached our stitch marker and this is the third stitch of our chain. So, at the stitch marker, we're going to remove it and place three half double crochets on the same stitch one two three so place your stitch marker on the second half double crochet right there we have our first second and third so you place your stitch mark on the second one and for the rest of the stitches along this chain place half double crochets till the end and let's meet there here we are we've reached the end of our chain and we've made our very last half double crochet in our first row so this is our first row and what you're going to do you're going to chain one and flip your work and make half double crochets to where the stitch marker is so this is how we do it let's make our first half double crochet there Mm -hmm. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through all. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through all. You're going to do that to where the stitch marker is. Then I'll show you what to do there. So we have reached our stitch marker. And again, we're going to make three half double crochets where the stitch marker is. So remove your stitch marker, make three half double crochets. One two three and place your stitch marker on the second half double crochets among the three half double crochets that we've made on the same stitch continue placing half double crochets across till the end so we have reached the end of our second row and we've made our last half double crochet right there and this is how the bikini bottom is coming out what's next is you chain one 
flip your work and place half double crochets to where the stitch marker is so we have reached our stitch marker we're going to remove it and place three half double crochets there three half double crochets so we have one two three don't forget that replacing our stitch marker right there on our second half double crochet among the three half double crochets that we have made on the same stitch so place your stitch marker on the second half double crochet and for the rest of the stitches place half double crochets till the end we have come to the end of our third row now the size of bikini bottom that i'm making can fit between small size to medium if you want to make a, a larger size you can increase the number of chains that we've made on our foundation row for instance you made a chain of 45 you can make a chain of 55 65 63 or more depending on the size that you you need so the secret here is the foundation chain should be an odd number it should be an odd number so that you can have a midi chain somewhere there so let's say you make a chain of 55 that means that the 28th chain will be your middle chain there so you mark you place a stitch marker at the 28th chain from now on when you get to the end just chain one flip your work make half double crochets to the middle chain you have placed a stitch marker plus three half double crochets on the chain and continue making half double crochets to the end and do the same until we reach our 16th row and we shall meet there so we've come to the end of our 16th row and this is what we have at this part i want you to pay more attention because you're about to do something else so chain one cut the yarn and secure it okay i need you to have uh, two more other stitch markers okay at this part at this stage i need you to pay more attention so grab two more stitch markers and from the middle stitch from the middle stitch that we have a stitch marker first stitch marker count uh, five stitches down on your right side one two three four five yes one of your stitch markers there from the middle stitch on um, towards the left side count five stitches and place your stitch marker right there okay so there we are grab your yarn make a knot and attach the yarn right there and chain two one two so the chain of two will act as a double crochet right there so that as a double crochet and onto the next stitch place a double crochet and this is how you do it yarn over insert your hook pull through you have three loops yarn over through two loops and then over all yarn over on the next stitch two you're placing a double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all on the next stitch we are going to place a half double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull through all and on the next chain we're going to make a single crochet insert your hook pull pull over and pull through all on the chain that has a, a stitch marker we're going to place a slip stitch and on the first chain 
towards the left side you're going to place a single crochet on the next chain you're going to place a half double crochet on the next chain you're going to place a double crochet on the next chain another double crochet and on the last chain that we have the stitch marker you're going to place a double crochet so this is what we have what we needed to achieve here is uh, an even length on this part so we can make the middle part of our pants there we are chain one flip your work and make half double crochets across to the last stitch here half double crochets starting from the very first stitch so we have double crochets not double crochets half double crochets Make sure you place the half double crochets to the very last stitch, which is usually at the first chain that we made here. Okay. So this is what we have. We have um. So far, we've made two rows. So what you're going to do is chain one, flip your work, and place half double crochets across until you reach the seventh row from here. So this is it. We have made our seven rows right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've secured my yarn and I have cut it. And this is our first part of the bikini bottom it can be the front part or the back part and right now go ahead and make a second part just like this use the same method and let's meet here when we have the two parts together so we are back with the um, two parts of our bikini bottom ready so the next part is joining the two panels together and this is the part that you'll be sewing in you pull them together with the right sides facing each other and you sew this part so this is how I do it I grab my yarn make a knot on my crochet hook Join these parts together, insert my crochet hook right there, and attach my yarn, chain one, and I'll be making single crochets across this area. When you get to the end, just chain one and cut your yarn. You cut your yarn, secure it lightly. Okay, so the next part is hiding all these pieces of yarn that are out here. Make sure that you hide them on the wrong side of the bikini bottom. Uh, here we are we are done hiding all the pieces of yarn that were hanging around and we've come to the most crucial part of this design we have to make this bikini bottom as attractive as possible so that uh, 
you can attract your clients so this is the finishing part you're supposed to finish this bikini bottom on the sides and let's go right to it grab the yarn and make a knot on the sides of this bikini bottom insert your hook attach the yarn chain one we had made a number of, uh, of rows so this is 16 make a single crochet in each row so insert your hook yarn over pull through okay sorry insert your hook pull through the yarn yarn over pull through insert your hook pull through yarn over pull through so this is how we make a single crochet and make sure that you make a single crochet in each row This is how it is. This is how it looks. Uh, chain three. And turn your work and make double crochets. Skip one and make a double crochet on the next chain. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all. So that is a double crochet. Then chain one and skip one, make a double crochet on the next. Chain one, skip one, and make a double crochet on the next. So that's it. Chain one, flip your work and make single crochets, two single crochets in these spaces. In each of these spaces, make two single crochets. So this is how you'll be doing it. One, two, one. Two in this space, you go down there. One, two, one, two. You go under the spaces, not in between here, under the spaces. On this last space, make a single crochet under the chain, and the other one, make it on top right here i don't know whether you can see it yeah go through that chain the very first chain that you made right there and make a double crochet uh, a single crochet sorry and make a single crochet so this is how it looks this is how it looks so what you're going to do next is we've reached the end here so ch chain one and turn your work on the other direction. I don't know whether you can see this feature clearly. You chain one from here and flip your work towards this direction. Okay, make two single crochets on this space. And skip two, one, two, make five double crochets. Three, four, four, five. So these are five double crochets. Skip one and slip stitch on the next chain. Chain one. Skip two and make five double crochets on the third stitch one two three four five and skip one slip stitch This is the pattern that we need to achieve.
along the sides of our bikini bottom and this is how it's coming out so you keep doing this till you get this point so we've reached uh, this part and slip stitched make single crochets in each row you can see there are rows the first one starts from here so in each row make a single crochet and remember here we had made seven rows yeah, in each row just make a single crochet and same to this place until we meet here So chain one, single crochet, so we have made our single crochets all the way to this area and now we need to do the same thing that we were doing on this side, these little flowers you see here, we need to make them across this area to the farthest end. chain one skip two make five double crochets so you're going to do the same trend that we were doing here on this part until it gets to the end So we have made it to the end of this side of the bikini bottom. Um, what we're going to do here is make single crochets across from here to this area. Chain one. And remember the arrows. So in each row, make a single crochet. So we have made our, our single crochets and what you're going to do next is chain three and flip our work. You are going to skip one and make a double crochet on the next stitch just like that and then chain one skip one and make a double crochet on the next stitch skip one make a double crochet on the next stitch uh, we have done this before on the other side and this is what here we are doing whatever, whatever we did here we're going to do just the same on this side so chain one skip one and make a double crochet So, whatever you do, make sure that the number of little windows here, let me just call them little windows, the number of the little windows that you make here are equal to the number of the little windows that you make on the other side. So, on this side we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this side we should also have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's make the last one. right there so yeah we have nine of them on this side and we'll be chaining one here and flip our work and make two single crochets on each of these places make two single crochets just like that oh yeah Two single crochets in each. We are at the last space. Make a single crochet there, and another, and, and the second single crochet, place it on this edge in between. Instead of putting it down here, place it in between the chains here, like that, and then chain one and cut your yarn.
secure it. So this is how it looks. Okay, see is how it looks. Yeah. So we have made these faces on this side and this side. We are done with one side of this bikini bottom. We are done finishing one side of this bikini bottom. Now we are going to finish the other side using the same process that we did on this side. Uh, uh, there we have our small, cute, neat bikini bottom. And the next step is we are going to grab our yarn, make a knot, and make a long chain of 200. You can make and make a longer chain than that. No, we are using a smaller yarn, so definitely a chain of 200 won't be that long. So go ahead, make any length that you prefer. Actually, you can make uh, two chains of 200. Uh, we need the longer chain here and the longer chain on the other side so make two of them and then let's meet here and i will show you what you're going to do with them here we have our two long chains ready yeah so go ahead now flip your pants like that and we are going to crisscross this chain in these um, little spaces that we made depending on what you prefer you can choose to start from the top to the bottom but for me I choose to start from the bottom to the top because I need the two the strings the part of the string that is remaining to hang from the top so we are done with this side grab the other string that we made and do the same on this side and here we are done with our bikini bottom and this is how it looks it looks really beautiful and one thing I love about this bikini bottom is that it's so comfortable when you wear it and it's can accommodate any size depending on the size that you've made it can accommodate anyone with any body type covers your bikini area very very well as you can see it's so wide still fashionable and covers your bikini area very well so this is it guys this is it if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel this is the time kindly subscribe like this video comment and share thank you so much for watching till the next video Bye.